In this video, I will show you how to design a personal goal tracking dashboard in Notion. I will cover what to include on your dashboard, how to design the layout, how to use custom filters, and how to create linked database views. After watching this video, you will have a Notion dashboard that lets you track all your life goals in one place. This Notion dashboard is part of the Ultimate Life Planner template. You can check it out in the description box below. Let's get started. On your Notion workspace, create an empty page for your goal tracking dashboard. Go to the top right corner to maximize the width. You can add some columns to organize the dashboard sections. Here I'm using three columns, one for the left, middle, and right sections. Let's start with the left column of your dashboard. Create a call up block, add an emoji, and label it live areas. You can place a live tracker on the left side of your dashboard. If you already have an existing live tracker database in Notion, you can add a link database under this section. Here's an example using my ultimate live template. Copy the link to that database view, go back to your new dashboard, and paste it into the left column. Expand the size of the left column as needed. Click on the settings and change the layout setting to gallery. Then go back, click on the property setting, turn on the display of description of the goals and average progress bar. This section will help you see your overall progress across different parts of your life. Let's move on to the center section of your dashboard. This is where you will write down specific goals you want to track and organize them by life areas. If you already have an existing goals database, simply copy the link database view and paste it under the center section. Now start listing your goals under each life area. Think about the parts of your life that matter most and break them down into smaller actionable goals you can track over time. Edit the page title by adding an emoji to represent your goals. If you're using my Life Planner template, you can categorize your measurable goals using the Life Area tag. Since you have already tagged each goal with its Life Area, you can now view the related goals directly in the left panel. This helps you see which goals belong to each Life Area at a glance. In the Settings panel, Open Layout and enable Wrap Text option so your text is not cut off in the gallery. After listing your goals, the next step is to set your target and enable progress tracking. To find your total goal value, and then update your achieved value as you make progress. You can see the progress bar will automatically calculate and display your completion percentage. And next, you can also update the status for each goal with a custom status tab. Using my ultimate life template, you can create a life mapping system that shows all your activities and resources for each life area. Let's open the fitness page. Here you will see a list of your related goals. You can also turn on the goal number to update the progress directly here. To go further, you can connect other resources such as adding related events, create a new to-do list under this section, add related bookmarks, notes, or even reading materials to help you achieve your fitness progress. And that's how my template connects everything in one place so you can focus on getting things done and not wasting time searching. On your measurable goals database, add a new view and choose the board layout. Go to the group settings and make sure your board is grouped by live areas. You can also rearrange your live areas by dragging them up or down. Once done, close the settings panel. Now your goal tracker has been transformed from a table layout into a Canva board design. Each goal is now organized by live area. You can drag and drop your goals into the right category or add new goal directly under any live area. Another useful feature in the board layout is the average progress percentage option. This will display a mini progress report showing how you are doing in each life area at a glance. 
You can also turn on the progress bar display for each actionable goal. In other words, the more goals you complete in a live area, the higher its overall progress becomes. Next, we're going to add another view on the same database. This time, select Gallery Layout, turn off the card preview, adjust to a smaller card size for the display. In the property display, choose the information you want to show. For instance, live areas, progress bar, and status. Let's add another view to your goals database using the board layout. For this board, you will organize your goals by status. If you want to separate the status view from your main section, copy the link of your custom view and paste it as a link database view under this section. What this does is create a sync view of your original database. So any changes you make in the database views will be updated across the views of the same database. Next, we're going to create a section to show your yearly progress summary. If you already have a goal summary database from my Ultimate Life Planner template, you can copy the link view of that database, go back to your dashboard, and paste it under this new section. This database shows the average goal progress so that you can compare how much you have achieved this year versus last year. To test it out, try adding a few goals under a different year, for example, 2026. So here you can see I'm tagging this particular goal with the corresponding year. Once you've done that, you will see your yearly summary report update automatically to reflect your average goal progress for each year. Next, open the setting and change the layout from table view to gallery view. Then customize your cards by adjusting what information is shown. Then open the filter options and choose to show only the yearly progress report for a specific year. And there you go, a clear visual summary of your yearly goal progress at a glance. Let's finalize the last part of your dashboard. I'm going to add a section on the right panel for my vision board. If you already have a vision board database, simply copy the link to its view and paste it here. Next, open the setting and change the layout to gallery view. Now you will see a collection of affirmation cards that inspire you and keep you focused on your goals. I'm also going to display the category tag. In the layout setting, turn on wrap text to fully show each affirmation statement. And that's it, you now have a beautiful personal goal tracking notion dashboard that brings your vision and progress together in one place. You can also watch my next video to level up your notion building skills.